Hello there everyone, welcome to another episode of this Imladris campaign. So we just defeated yet another invasion here of Harad and now we are attacking the Easterling faction here actually because, well, he's attacking me. Let's see if we can deal with them before they actually launch an attack on Dol Guldur. For that I do need to end up the turn. For now, for now we do need to end up the turn. So some interesting developments, I've uh, actually changed home again. So this means that finally I'll be able to, you know, resume my gameplay a little bit better because on the other house that I had it wasn't really that good. It wasn't really that good to, you know, keep recording and stuff. I didn't have too much time. I had I had a, a really bad schedule, so hopefully now I can resume everything much uh, uh, much properly or I can resume everything properly as I want it. So no new series for now but um, I do have plans for that of course. Hang on, do I still have the deaths? Yes. End of turn reports, construction complete, James Hall's build, the mines and Isengard is at war with us. Oh they declared an invasion I believe. That's probably it. They declared an invasion. So I still don't have any gold but this, these mines are, you know, much better. You can see the profits there, actually. Yeah, especially because, you know, only this guy is now uh, plagued. Even though I think he's fine, actually. I think he'll survive. He's an elf. Come on. Why wouldn't an elf survive? My lord. Let's move these units first. You're going to move over there. That's it. You're going to keep moving. Yeah, I certainly want you to get to Erin Runen right there. That's it. I don't want any surprises around here on Austin Gale. He still didn't reach that Dolgal Tour, so that's good for us. And these guys need to go through the road. That's it. Oh, there was some army here. Did you see that? Damn it. I didn't notice that. I didn't notice that. These guys need to hang on for reinforcements. These need to go away. I'm gonna send one extra Boquendi after that. Okay, nothing here. I can't recruit anything for now. Now, just gotta make sure that the invasion army doesn't come through this area, actually. Uh, I guess I should start moving away around. Yeah, I need to verify where, where are any other armies here. Oh, there we go. That's where Isengard is. That's where Isengard is. Although they're not going to survive for too long. Half-Orc Spearguard. They're half-Orc? Does that mean that their mother or father was an Orc and what was the other? Ugh. I don't know, man. I don't know. She'll have to be a charming mother... <laughs> She would have to be really charming for me to go. Come on. If she was an orc, uh, of course. Come, my brothers. Yeah, awkward silence for you guys. I was just verifying everything. <laughs> okay, so Dol Guldur, he's gonna besiege. That's that's most uh, obvious, of course. And then I'm gonna attack them. That's that's what's gonna happen. Pretty easy. Pretty easy stuff here. So the Shadow of Mirkwood, well if they if only they hadn't conquered so much land there. Oh, you could see the invasion army there. There's still a big army here from the Dominion of Isengard, but the more losses they get, the worse they get actually. Yeah. That's probably their last hope. They have to capture like one or two cities to Make sure they can replenish everything. So Rune is going to besiege Dol Guldur. That's fine. They can't attack him the first time. We must defend these and they have yet another invasion army. That's four total. <laughs> Only from Rune, actually. So, yeah. A skilled bureaucrat. Talent for command. Fair fighter. He's decently loyal. Let's accept it in our family. Where are you, dude? Where are you? There you go, you're in Goblin Town. And this guy is any good? No, but you guy, you can go into Celeborg. That's exactly where I want you. 
Come on, Sai, I can go into Celeborn. That's it. End of turn, I'm earning money once more. A lot of faction announcements. That's good. Marriage, celebrations, death stalks the land. It's only that character. It's only this dude. Well, if he dies, there's no problem. Settlement is besieged, of course. And, oh, there's some one Dol Guldur general trying to go on an invasion on himself. Oh, boy. Okay, two turns f to reach this. This is rather tricky to invade, actually. Very difficult stuff to invade. Okay, you're gonna go on Celeborg. That's it. You're gonna go over there as well. I'm invading their territory, so I gotta be careful there. You, son. Come on. You're gonna go over there. Oh, now that's some good units there. Whoa! Well, I guess I really need to check this Corsair army. What do we have? Umbar War Guards. This should be interesting. Uh, you still have a Corsair Archer there. Some Rangers. But the rest are really Corsair Raiders and Pikemen, which will die to Archers. This army can be dealt with easily with what uh, um, my Lord has over there. Yeah, without, without interference there. This guy can deal with that pretty easily. Now this Herat... Oh, that's only orcs, actually. What's the bodyguards? Serpent bodyguards? Really? Then, well, I don't want to keep you guys waiting for... So I'm just going to attack this dog, this uh, rune bodyguard here. What do they have? Some crossbowmen? That's interesting. Some clan warriors. Shard decent, you know, I would say. They have a, a, an interesting way of fighting with those um, swords. Those are very interesting, actually. They have some step hunters, yeah, which have long-range missiles. Yeah, you can see their missile attack is only three. Okay, I guess there's no cavalry here, besides the general, so it should be an easy battle. Yeah, let's fight it out. Oh, and they actually retreated. So, let's take it out. Good. Good, 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 good. Let's take this one out, then move in and pursue the other invasion armies. This is actually something really cool, you know, having to fight... The, the invasions actually provide us with some good entertainment because, well, you get to see a lot of battles uh, against a lot of different enemies here. Now, in the meantime, of course, I'm, I'm just trying to make sure that I... Uh, still get some further conquests there. The north is almost secured now, which would mean some good points for us. Okay, I think he's gonna be on this hill. And if he is on this hill, I gotta be on this one. So, no, not, I really don't think, uh, or don't need to think too much. Yeah. Single line of archers, which is something like this. Look at that. It's a beautiful a single line of infantry behind. Yeah, and that includes my Mladris guards. Mladris rangers, take the skirmish away. Oh. And the sneeze, of course. So, heavy cavalry will be on the left flank. These guys will protect him, and that's about it. Whoa, 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 what happened here? He's trying to minimize everything. Run into position. That's it. He doesn't have any horsemen. Well, actually, he does over there. So, this infantry units or these armies gotta go over here. Run them. Cavalry are well placed. These guys are going to move over there. And everything is in place. That's it. This way, you can actually start attacking some good stuff. Well, not that you can now. Hang on. Gotta move you here. And the infantry units, you gotta move ahead of them. That's it. Something like this. We gotta really make sure that his general doesn't charge with full force. Because if he does, then I'm toast. I'm actually putting my Mladris guards on the line, at the front actually. 
Gotta make sure that he doesn't simply charge at me. Come on. My archers can now attack. That's good. His own archers will be able to attack me. By the likes of it. Well, not a lot of my archers are attacking. Only the Eldarin ones. Yeah, but they're hitting what can be hit. And a few of their step hunters, poor boys. They're just gonna lose everything here. Okay, he still has that hill, and I want him to charge, actually, because he's on the best position there. And if he goes down, he's going to be on a good position for me to hit them. So, come on, make sure that you can hit everyone. Well, actually, I cannot. Only one of my units is actually attacking now. Okay, time for a move. You're going to go here... And you're gonna protect all those infantry, those archer units like this. Run into position, fast forward, and that's it. He's actually charging with the bodyguard. Okay, hang on. Let's attack the bodyguard right there, right now. That's it. The other small archers or the smaller archers are going to attack anything else but I certainly need to take care of the room bodyguard because those are the ones who are going to cause most trouble the other guys not for sure not for sure I'm gonna enable guard mode my cavalry can actually attack these clan warriors that's it we can charge them these guys can go over there and his bodyguard is suffering some losses. He's, he is suffering some losses. Come on. I certainly want them to not attack with so much. Power of the Elder here. These clan warriors, they're fine. That's it. Now, can you still attack them? Oh, yeah, you can. Let's attack over there. That's fine. You, sirs, you can attack on this clan guard from the back. That will draw. That will teach them. The bodyguard is almost dead. Just so many archers here. His clan crossbowmen are going to die easily here. These runic clansmen, they're not hanging on. They're not doing pretty well. Okay, archers, just draw away. Oh, only four of them. So, I guess it's fine now. Yes, it's fine now. You're still attacking. Oh, you're actually hitting my own men. Okay, what am I going to do? You guys, just stop your fire. That's it. Let's charge over here. Let's charge over there. And the other units, let's charge over here. Actually, no. Charge those step hunters. That's it. Let's do a massive charge. These guys are also good in melee, so that's fine. That's it. They should be dying very soon. This cavalry can deal with those step hunters pretty easily. Everything here is fine. Yeah, they are running away. Let's attack those step hunters. Everything is destroyed. All that I need is to kill that cavalry. I wonder if I can charge them with my riders. Of course I can. Heavy cavalry, pursue them. Run them down. You're gonna pursue those step hunters. That's it. And that's one Loki Rim bodyguard right there. That's the only unit that it's missing. And he actually killed one of my Mladris Riders. Damn you. My archers are doing everything. 6% of my men lost against such an army. That's nothing, actually. Come on, Raiders. Actually gonna take away the fire at will. You're taking the step. Archers there. And everything relies on killing this bodyguard, which has done. And now they flee. Continue the battle. Good. 
Now there's just a few step hunters here. I'll pursue them. Go for it. That's it. Time six. Come on. Pursue everything here. Bring out your dead dudes. Come on. Well, actually, on this case, it's bring out your living. Oh, there's a few more there, but nothing that can actually survive. Let's just exit the battle. Good. 71 men lost. I'm glad he actually charged me, which is... It's much better. You know, if if the, the runes bodyguard managed to hit me on full force, then it would be double the amount of men, because they could easily destroy 30 to 40 men on one charge, and then... Um, even take a lot of them. They could take a lot of them, actually, just uh, with the charge and then with, of course, keeping the, the battle. Okay. So, I'm going to ignore this guy, because even my Dolguldur army can deal with that. And I'm just going to go over here. That's about it. You guys... You need to zoom in with these guys. That's about it. Dual Narnak. So what can I leave here? I think I'm gonna leave one unit of archers, to be fair. One unit of archers. Yeah, this Boquendi. So everyone but one Boquendi. That's it. Now I can gather up with this guy. That's it. Good, good, good. Now, I actually want to verify if there are any further invasions here. No? Can you build a watchtower, please? That's good. What else? What else can we do? This guy can't move. I hope he reaches there before this family member arrives. Come on. Okay. If I have Austin Gale and Erir Runin and the other city here, the Dolguldur, capital. If I'll hold these three, I'll manage to have three armies on one position. Sorry about that. I'll manage to have, as I was saying, three armies on the best position um, in order to push through Dol Guldur, actually. Well, only high tax rate. I don't want you losing population. Actually, I don't want you losing population anywhere. Dol Guldur. Dol Guldur. I could build up some stuff. Let me see if there are any places where it's not growing at all. Here. Okay, let's let's make it grow. The Indus Halls can't grow. I guess having the communal farming will help that. I'm just trying to keep my cities growing, which is which is always always a necessity, guys. You have moved, you have moved, and you have moved. Okay guys, I'm gonna skip here right now the episode. Just to make sure that we don't have too many battles on this one, but yeah, I think I can end up the turn for now and show you what uh, what changes over here. I should have moved the spies here. Well, poor Rohan. He's still trying to take care of Isengard. I would have... I mean, if I was Rohan, I would have already been... I would be already attacking Mordor, actually. He's not doing quite a good job, you know. Compared to Bree, for instance, Bree took care of the Enidwaith clans in Dunland pretty well. You know, they had the assistant of Linden, of course. Come on. Come on, intern. Come on. They're going to besiege me once more. Aren't you? No, I guess not. Let's see. Wow. Nothing happened, actually. Okay, you guys... You spy, you're gonna go over there. You spy, you're gonna go over here. Yeah, that's the last general of his. He's gonna suffer some casualties, yes. Pretty much. So, what is going on here? Yeah, he reached over there. The other guy, I don't know where he is. There's the Corsair army. And the Harad army is quite nearby. I guess I can just keep this guy over here. Yeah, it's not like he can catch that. So I can attack this Easterling army on the next episode and then have the Corsair army arriving. Yeah, that's about it. 
Just gonna make some movements here. That's it. That's it. Good, good, good. That's it. Some movements that are necessary. Where are the other units? There we go. Just to make sure that I don't forget about these units. This guy needs to go over to this area. Do you have anything that can be traded? I guess one archer could go to the other uh, zone. Could it? Yeah, I guess I can send one archer away from this army and have one in Ladris Guard. That'll be it. But of course, I'll join up everything on the next episode. So cheers, guys, and don't forget to leave a like for this campaign. Goodbye.